How to Stop Negative Thoughts in 6 Simple Steps In this video, you will learn how to deal with negative thoughts. You will learn. Phase 1 The first step is to be vigilant at all times. Phase 2 Time to teach your thoughts good manners. Phase 3 Time to have the talk. Phase 4 Morning uplift. Phase 5 Forgive yourself and others. Phase 6 Training day is every day. And as an extra sum. Positive affirmation to use for 21 days. Please subscribe and click like to help us grow, and create more content and awareness to help with mental health. Negative thoughts are the most destructive power in the world, and is worse because is deep inside of our head, making us feel impotent and helpless. If someone else is telling you bad things, you can tell them to stop talking or just go away, but your own thoughts are defying to stop as you have a true fight going on. But don't despair because everything in life has a solution, and believe you are here to help. Dealing with any negative thoughts is the same as fear, if you can recognize it, and understand that is not real, it will disappear. Question yourself why are you letting your mind talk so bad of you, and judge you all the time? The answer is because you are letting, given permission for this to happen. Who is the boss? Try to imagine that your mind is a child running wild, and you are the parent, then you have to teach the child how to behave, taking control, and imputing responsibilities and rules. Unfortunately, no one teaches us since we are kids, ways to deal with negative thoughts, or how to create a structure that would allow us to have a more strong perception of this dilemma. The true answer is our thoughts lie, and can be cruel if you let them run loose, you have to learn how to control them, or your thoughts will control you. In the same way that you learn how to walk, eat, talk, and behave in society, you will have to become an expert in dominating your thinking patterns. Phase 1 The first step is to be vigilant at all times. Because when you least expect it the habit of negative thinking will beat at your door, then you have to be always aware, and very present to recognize that little negative voice in your head and tell it to shut up. Yes, you will have to be rude, and don't even let the chat start, because is like an addictive drug, once you have a little you will want more. Then is imperial that for now one you be the one in control. By all means. Stop and think about this. If you are listening to bad thoughts inside your head, who is thinking, and who is the person that is listening? The answer is they are both you, you are the one thinking all the time. If you understand this you will also understand that the only one that has the control to stop this is yourself. Face two time to teach your thoughts good manners. Now is important to have fun, and after a few days, you will be laughing at this exercise. In the same way, you teach a child how to behave you will teach your thoughts to think in a good manner of you. Your only job is being always alert, and at the moment the negative chatter start, you will say stop and correct the sentence in the most positive way possible. Example. Negative thoughts saying you are the worst person in the world. Your answer, no I am not. I am marvelous and amazing, and you are not allowed to talk with me in this way. Now say sorry. Your thoughts will say sorry to you right away, and you know why because you tell the thoughts to. Do this all the time and all day, till this be a habit. Use it and abuse it, and don't be shy when you are using positive sentences about yourself or what you are feeling. Go big, you are, and deserve the best. Face three time to have the talk. When you are feeling more in control of your rebel child, negative thoughts, it will be time to have the talk. This means that you will have to start to be more comprehensive with the motive this thought is coming to your head. Then start to question the negative affirmations, and explain to yourself why is this is not true. Recognize if, in some way along with your life, Others make you feel not worthy, or not good enough. And as you comfort a child, 
comfort and make peace to yourself, because all is perfect and you are an amazing living being. If you have to be nice to someone in the world is with you first. You are your best supporter, you are the boss, you are in control, and you love yourself. Phase 4 Morning Uplift The good news is it all starts in the morning when you wake up, and if you do this every day you will learn how to stop that avalanche of negative thoughts that comes when you wake up. Every day start your day counting from 10 to 1, this exercise will obligate your thoughts to stop and be in a neutral state, then you can breathe, saying to yourself that is all okay, and start a great day ahead without any worries. But not just is important to stop all negative thoughts, as is putting new positive thoughts in the place, try to listen to inspiring videos, do meditation, do some kind of physical exercise, drink plenty of water and use affirmations every day in the morning to create a positive and healthy mind. Before you sleep use in the first week guided positive meditation then even in your sleep you will be reprogramming your mind to think positive. Phase 5 Forgive yourself and others. Don't carry anything with you that will not serve you, then it's time to let go of the past, forgiving everyone, and mostly yourself, you deserve to be free of any bad feelings, learning to let go to have space for new adventures to fulfill your happiness, enjoy your perfect you and others cannot be perfect but you can be your best version, then time to let go, and start your new journey. Phase 6 Training Day is every day. Read all you can about how to implement positive thought patterns in your life, train yourself to be the most amazing person that you can imagine. Now that you learn that you are what you think, everything is possible. If you can use your thoughts to be all about what you want for the best, you will acquire all that you always want in life. These are some affirmations that you should do daily, at least repeat it 10 times a day, for 21 days, and after please let me know the results, I believe in you and you can do it. Be positive, be brave, be you. Positive affirmation to use for 21 days. These affirmations are from Liz Hubber. Money. Money comes to me easily and effortless. I constantly attract opportunities that create more money. I am worthy of making more money. I am open and receptive to all the wealth life offers me. My actions create constant prosperity. Money and spirituality can coexist in harmony. Love and relationships. I am full of positive loving energy. I welcome love and romance into my life. I am in a loving and supportive relationship. I deserve love and I get it in abundance. I am loved, loving and lovable. I am blessed with an incredible family and wonderful friends. I give out love and it is returned to me multiplied manifold. Self. I forgive myself and set myself free. I believe I can be all that I want to be. I am in the process of becoming the best version of myself. I have the freedom and power to create the life I desire. I choose to be kind to myself and love myself unconditionally. My possibilities are endless. I am worthy of my dreams. I am enough. Health. I deserve to be healthy and feel good. I am full of energy and vitality and my mind is calm and peaceful. Every day I am getting healthier and stronger. I honor my body by trusting the signals that it sends me. I manifest perfect health by making smart choices. Happiness. I am grateful to be alive. It is my joy and pleasure to live another wonderful day. Happiness is my birthright. I choose to be happy and I deserve to be happy. Being happy comes easy to me. Happiness is my second nature. Good things are happening. I am deeply fulfilled.